Now, before I'm out of here, I did really quickly want to address another kind of depressing update in the United States, kind of on the right's growing fascination or at least defense of Putin, white nationalism, all that fun stuff, right? And uh, last week I mentioned a few times how many in the right-wing media and more that uh, national conservative populist side is defending Putin. Trump and Tucker Carlson are part of that group. And uh, over the weekend, there was a fun little hate convention in uh, Florida called the American First uh, America First Political Action Conference. And uh, side note, it was formed in 2020 by Nick Fuentes, who is a podcaster and someone that the Anti-Defamation League has deemed a white supremacist. And I don't know, I don't think the ADL, uh, Anti-Defamation League, is always spot on, but with this guy they are. Um, he's said that Putin is his guy, and he's uh, put out tweets defending Hitler. So I would say you're probably a white nationalist, or at least a very far right nationalist. And uh, I just have issues when someone says that Putin is their guy. You know, he's, um, he's a maniac who invades a sovereign country, alienates minorities back home, has got rid of free speech, has pretty much pillaged the country's wealth and put it in foreign banks. He, he clearly is not a nice guy or a good leader or anything you'd really want to aspire to have in the United States. So when all these people defend Putin, you kind of have to go, why? You know, maybe part of the appeal, I, I think it was Bill Maher who mentioned this over the weekend on his show, was um, he was like, maybe part of the appeal to white nationalists is that while the rest of the world is changing and becoming more diverse, Russia's still fairly white and isolated, and maybe that's appealing to some of these far-right white nationalists, you know? So, I, you know, if anyone really tries to defend Putin at this point, ask them why, because I think the answer might be telling. But, of course, our good friend Marjorie Taylor Greene, by good friend I say a very deplorable congresswoman, um, she attended this white nationalist conference in Ontario, or sorry, not Ontario, in Orlando, Florida, of course, on Friday. And she argued that she was only there to talk to the audience. And that's fine. I'm pro free speech. Uh, I think this actually, sadly, I think this rally should be allowed to be held. But uh, we should look at who's there. And if they're representing the nation in Congress, that's problematic. And guys, I mean, Marjorie Taylor Greene is raising some of the most money out of any Republican in Congress, or, or at least last quarter of 2021 she was. And she is dangerous, you know? I, I, like I said, I don't really care if they're holding this rally because I'm a big proponent of free speech and letting people talk as long as they're not causing direct harm. But this lady's there, and I, I, don't, I don't want them to cancel the rally or ban her from ever going to these, but we should vote her out of office. That's what we should do because... You know, as the Republican leadership and the talking heads on the news are always bashing Biden, it's all his fault, conflation, oil prices, COVID, whatever you want to say, some of the biggest stars like Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Boebert and Madison Cawthorn and all these people, they're going to events led by white supremacists and Putin fans. And the Republican Party needs to wake up to this. So, yeah, that's going to do it for today. I'll be back later in the week with more episodes. Plenty to talk about. Biden has the State of the Union, which I would, will probably be commenting on later in the week. The State of the Union. How is the State of the Union? Let me know. I'm on Twitter, Alex Kapitko. Also on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Spotify, Podbean, blah, 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 all those, all those sites. But, uh, yeah, what's, what's the State of the Union in you guys' opinion? Uh, so lots of State of the Unions happening at once here. Like in some ways we're doing okay, but in the majority, I would say not so much. But anyways, have a great rest of your Monday. Take care. Adios.